Well, folks, the dream is already dead. <laughs> Yesterday, we talked about how the Biden administration was reportedly planning on canceling a substantial amount of student debt, according to a conversation that he had with members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. And today he's saying, mm, not so fast. Take a look. Morning Leader Schumer said yesterday that you're, quote, getting closer to using executive authority to cancel up to $50,000 in uh, student loan debt. Can you confirm that? What exactly are you looking to uh, plan to do here in the coming? You mean my spokesman months? said that? Majority Leader Schumer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, look, uh, number one, uh, one first thing we did was reform the system that was in place that didn't work for anybody that allowed people to write off debt if they engaged in public service. We have almost a million, 785, don't hold me the exact number, I'll get the number, 700 and some thousand have had debt forgiven, their whole debt forgiven because of their work, working in either as teachers or other means by which they qualify. And we continue to make that easier. Secondly, I am considering dealing with some debt reduction. I am not considering $50,000 debt reduction, but I'm in the process of taking a hard look at whether or not there are going to, there will be additional debt forgiveness. And uh, I'll have an answer on that in the next couple of weeks. So it's most likely going to be the case that he only cancels $10,000. And it's Biden, so he could say, I'm asking Congress to send a bill to my desk to cancel $10,000. He might not even do that with executive action. So <laughs> it's funny. I'm laughing not because this is good news. I'm laughing because we live in such a cruel world. Honestly, if he just waited like a week or two more to deliver us this bad news so I can dream for a little bit longer about what it would be like to not be uh, burdened with this debt, at least that would have been kind of a little bit of a treat. But it's even more cruel because, as the Debt Collective puts it, this sends a clear message to people who have suffered for decades under impossible crushing debt. Yes, I could cancel all your debt. I'm going to demonstrate that I have that power, but I am deliberately deciding to keep you in debt forever. And that's really what this is. If you cancel student debt via executive action, then you're proving that you have the power to do that. So to not cancel at all means you just don't want to. So, I mean, the Republicans pledged to fight. Turns out you didn't have to. Congratulations. You all got this dub. Millions of Americans will continue to remain in debt for the rest of their lives. Nothing will change. I mean, this is what Joe Biden kind of promised us, right? Nothing will fundamentally change. So for him, like the thought of doing something that substantial really was, it, it did seem too good to be true. And it definitely did bear out that way. So what I'm assuming is going to happen, and this is all speculation, so take that with a grain of salt, is he's going to announce he's canceling $10,000 in student debt, or he's telling Congress to send a bill to his desk that he can sign so he can cancel student debt. And that's when the repayments will resume, right? Because you can't just resume payments without doing something after for so long you've been dragging us along giving us hope here and there that maybe you do something to ameliorate our suffering but you know who knows he could just do nothing he could tell congress i want a bill on my desk not take executive action and then just resume the repayments and and say well look i told congress like <laughs> this is the democratic party so uh anything is possible. And when I say anything is possible, like nothing good is possible, but the most comically idiotic scenario bearing out, that is absolutely possible. You know, where he just fucks over students before the midterm election and then wonders why nobody came out to vote. I mean, again, like he's he's saying this and he he's seemingly angry at Chuck Schumer as well. I mean, he he didn't express rage at all, but he took a little bit of a jab at Chuck Schumer. He said, oh, my press spokesperson, because Chuck Schumer said that he's closer to getting the president to canceling student debt or that the president was closer to canceling debt, something of that nature. And he didn't like, presumably, that Chuck Schumer said that. But I mean, Chuck Schumer is just doing what he can to nudge Biden in the right direction. You know, for some reason, Chuck Schumer decided to really become a vocal advocate for student debt cancellation. At first, I thought it was a ploy to kind of fend off a progressive primary challenger, but he's still talking about it. And he's not really facing, you know, a primary uh, campaign that's actually uh, competitive. So, you know, he cares about this, uh, apparently, for some reason. And Chuck Schumer is just trying to nudge Biden in the right direction by saying, yeah, he's definitely trying to do it. And the reason why I think Chuck Schumer is doing this, not like 
pretending that Chuck Schumer is some sort of a strategic mastermind. But if you set that expectation, then it looks bad for the president to not deliver on what the leader of the Senate is saying. So, you know, look, this is kind of what we all expected. I, I said in yesterday's video that I didn't want to get my hopes up. I'll believe it when I see it. And just a day later, Biden's like, mm, no, nah, I'm not canceling $50,000. We went from thinking, wow, maybe he'll cancel all of it. Possibly unlikely, but most likely 50000 if he's saying a substantial amount. But, I mean, who knows? He could cancel like 1000 and be like, well, that's a substantial amount. You're welcome. We just, we don't know. But either way, this is just, it's honestly cruel. Like, it feels cruel. Even the part of him breaking it to us this quickly. Like, as I said earlier, I just want to dream a little bit, just a little bit longer. Let me dream for a week. Let me think that maybe it's possible. Nope, can't have that because this is America and um, this is <laughs> a country that is going to perpetually disappoint us because we have two political parties that don't give a shit about working people. So, I mean, all of the Republicans who were clutching their pearls at the prospect of Biden doing something good, you no longer have to worry. You no longer have to try to come up with some way to convince people that getting rid of their debt is actually bad. So, I mean, he's making the Republicans' jobs easier in November, but it's Biden. So, not really that surprising at the end of the day. Nevertheless, it's still incredibly cruel. You know... You... You... You know... You know the... You know the thing... thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.